bit of visual interest to the model, I decided to cut off the landing flaps and radiator flaps to repose them in a lowered position. I used a brand new blade and my hobby knife for this task. I then gradually ran the knife blade over the molded seam until the part was loose enough to break away from the model. Once done, the inner wing was primed black. I also added a tiny bit of wheel well detail with bits of 0.5mm styrene rod. And once the primer was dried, the radiator was dry brushed with Citadel lead belcher. Once done, the wing was glued together. After the part was dry, the landing flaps were glued into the lowered position. The way I brush paint a camouflage pattern starts by marking the pattern onto the model with a pencil. Once the pattern was sketched onto the model, a darker shade of the grey green colour was outlined with a small round head paintbrush. After drying, the grey green paint mix was brushed onto the model with a small flat head paintbrush with a small drop of paint thinner mixed into the paint. Once done, it was left to dry. Then a second coat was applied in the same way as the previous layer of paint. I also had to mask off a section of the camouflage on the fuselage, which was done to apply a light blue strip for the DIY Hungarian decals. After the paint was dry, it was then time to tackle the mottled camouflage. One of the biggest problems for scale aircraft modelers has been the challenge of being able to depict the Luftwaffe modeled camouflage in miniature, even much more so to do it with a paintbrush. Well, to cut a very long story short, I was able to achieve this effect with a paintbrush. Luckily, there are quite a few tutorials on YouTube teaching you how to brush paint modeling camouflage, the most notable one being this video by QuickKick. However, he was using enamel paint to do it. However, I adapted his techniques into acrylic using a few differences. For this, I used a few cotton buds, a small round head paintbrush, and a paint palette. 
For the first step, I mixed a bit of dark grey green paint mix with plenty of acrylic thinner until the paint resembled a wash. I then dipped the pointed end of a cotton bud into the paint, which was then randomly pressed over the model, thus creating a faux airbrush spot look. I also added the odd dots of the violet grey colour in the same way. Once dry, I then dry brushed over the light blue base colour using an old paintbrush with the excess removed onto a paper towel. This effect further softened the previous layer. I then added another layer of thinned paint spots using a fine paintbrush, with the bud being used to soften the edge. Again, after that layer was dried, another layer of dry brushing was applied onto the paintwork. Then a final layer of the dots was applied onto the model. And with the modeling completed, the rest of the paint was applied. I decided to base my model on this downed Hungarian BF109 G6. In Adobe Photoshop, I made the serial numbers by copying and pasting numbers and letters from a Luftwaffe serial alphabet I found on Google Images. And once done, the serial numbers and some Hungarian roundels were printed onto clear decal paper. Once the sheet was dried, Two coats of micro-scale decal film was brushed over the sheet, with plenty of drying time between each coat. Another small sheet of Hungarian roundels was also printed onto white decal paper, with the same process repeated. With both sheets dried, I applied the clear roundels onto the top side of the wing using micro-scale decal set, then on the fuselage sides where the blue strip was painted with the serial number decals being applied in the same way. On the underside of the wing, the black and white decals were applied onto the model, and with that, the rest of the model was completed.
And with the last parts attached to the model, this project was completed. Thank you for watching this video, and good luck with all your ongoing projects. Here it is, the completed model. Thank you.